There's something that the Buddhists say about suffering. They say that the ego is the source of all suffering. Now the most difficult thing about Buddhism is learning to understand what exactly it is they mean by ego. The most practical and direct way to realize what ego is, in my opinion, is every time in your mind there's a little automated process or something that makes you question yourself. It makes you think about your inadequacies, your faults, what you don't have, and what other have people that are better than you. Now, I'm a scientist, so my first thought every time I think about this is just biologically. If you were to take your lifetime like on an axis and just cut out one sliver and look at your body, you would see that there are literally billions of years of mathematical calculations summed up in a single solution or answer that is you. Imagine somebody writing symbols or a computer doing calculations for billions of years. Totally inconceivable. Let's just say it's an infinite amount of time. In your body is an infinity of knowledge. It's the collective genetic memory of things that were around when the moon came out of the earth. That happened a long time ago, dude. So value yourself. I don't believe in any sense that the ego is bad or wrong or should be removed or should be killed. I think, honestly, I think the people that say that are crazy and they don't even know what they're talking about. They've gotten impassioned, which is good, and there are metaphors for a spiritual or mental death or rebirth cycle that happens with the ego. But the ego does have two sides to it. One side is constantly watching what you don't have. But the truth is you need to have compassion for the ego because it's watching out for you. You are an integral part of the evolution of this universe. Yourself is the coronation of an infinite sequence of events and will be the cause of an infinite series more. Your every action bends the river of infinity. The ego is just here to make sure that you stay alive. You have to learn to use it as a means to an end. You can't just let it randomly make you feel things, and then worse, acting on those random feelings. Ego is here to give you a symbol of achievement that you can compare yourself against in your own mind. You must realize that you created that symbol of achievement. You compare yourself to your achievement symbol for only one reason. Because it helps put yourself into experiences that remove the separation between you and your ideal self without ever sacrificing either one of them to lower standards.